Okay, I'm back. Uh, here's the results of the disc. Um, turned out pretty well. Uh, it's arced this direction and um, looks like this. And then on the other side, it looks like that. Um, this just kind of bent organically. There's only one rib in here. I didn't put a rib in this direction. Um, but I mean, I was thinking maybe I would um, to, to, to make this more of an even arc, but I kind of like this shape better because it looks like a, a shallow V and um, there's actually a hollow right here towards the end, which is nice. So um, you don't lose so much uh, of the spray side going sideways. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, board or something um, and then this would be mounted on, a, on an incline like this um, and it would generate dynamic lift and right now it's just a matter of figuring out the size this is about the size of a skim board um, skim board will support the weight of a, a, of a human being at 10 miles an hour and if you, because this is dynamic lift, dynamic lift uh, doubles every 100 and every 41%. So as you go from 10 miles an hour to 14.1, you actually double the speed. And when you go from 10 to 20, you quadruple. I mean, not the speed, but the lift. When you go from 10 to 20, you're quadrupling the lift. Uh, because the lift is proportional to the square of the velocity. Anyway, um, so the way you would attach this is something like this, and you would just create a fillet on both sides and use some kind of carbon fiber or something to uh, connect the two. Um, and then you just mount a crossbar here and the crossbar could have like a mounting plate that gets three bolts. And, um, and then it's just a matter of, you know, is this big enough? Um, now the only disadvantage to this is, well, it's, it's really easy to make. I mean, I just made, I just glued it up in a couple hours. Um, and this is just an ellipse and, uh, this could easily be turned into a kit, a uh, CNC routed kit. Uh, it can all be made out of one sheet of four millimeter marine ply. Um, so if this works, I'll probably sell a CNC kit. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't wait to test it and see how it works. Okay, so I basically start with a clamp here, and then I turn it around. Uh, I have marked uh, with a pencil the exact middle uh, on both edges, and the exact middle this way, and the, uh, the quarter sections. So, um, so I start with a couple. This is all tight bond three. Quite a lot of tension here. Oh. All right, so I got it lined up. Okay, um, now that that's tight, I just work around. Starting here. to remain symmetric. It does require about 20 clamps, maybe more. Most of the force is here and there. There's not a lot of force in the out, outer corners. Okay. 
All right, so those are pretty much lined up right there. That's good. Also, I, I made a slight bevel on the edge, the entire edge. Um, I just sanded the bevel. I just basically took my sander and uh, went like this on the inner corners. So to create a small flat section for the glue to uh, stick to. Um, otherwise, I don't think it would fold. Um, after the glue dries overnight, then you can take the clamps off and uh, the edges should be wrapped with some kind of fiberglass or something. Uh, once it, everything dries and the glue dries and there's uh, some kind of uh, tape around the edge, this whole thing is going to get really stiff. It's going to be a whole lot stiffer if it was just a two-dimensional object, you know, like an actual skim board. Also, the, the arc on the top helps with uh, with lift. If, if it does submerge, then both surfaces actually create lift instead of just the top. Look at that.